So today I'm going to talk about conversion tracking. Uh, I've seen a lot of accounts where the tracking is not set up correctly and also uh, quite a few of you are confused with a new, fairly new feature in Google Ads uh, when it comes to setting up the conversion tracking. So let's hop in the interface. And I'll make sure everything is okay. When you are setting up your Google Ads campaign, go down. You come over here where the conversion um, section is. So you get two options. One is the use um, account level including conversion settings and choose conversion actions for this campaign. So what you can do now is, if you've got multiple conversion actions, you can have as many as you like. Have a call conversion, someone fills in a form or takes any other call to action on your website, you can set them up as a conversion. So you can set up that any action someone takes when they come through to my website or landing page, you track it or you can choose a specific conversion for this campaign only. So you can go in there and whichever conversion. So I've got all these multiple conversions which have been set up in here. I can use all of them, but I can then select one or multiple. So this is what you must do first of all before you start any campaigns the problem or the the danger without uh, starting a campaign without setting up your conversion tracking uh, there are two things uh, two very very important things in fact one you are flying blind you don't know what's working what's not working and secondly if you do wish to go to smart bidding afterwards on target CPA or any other kind of smart bidding, Google will not know uh, what conversions you are looking for and aiming for. And then you will uh, find that your smart campaigns are not going to work at all. So you must make sure that the conversion tracking is set up correctly. The tags are set up properly. It's working fine. And once you've started to get the conversions, um, after a little while, you can uh, switch on over to the smart bidding. So now what we do is we go into our conversions. And I'll just go through with you very quickly um, what you have got. So now you've got two tabs over here. One is the conversion action and one is, is the conversion action that. So you can have a, a group of conversions in a set and then allocate that action uh, conversion action, action set to a specific uh, campaign. So you can select one, two, or three, or however many you want and save it as a specific conversion action set. This is for bigger website with multiple conversions. So for a small website, if you've just got one or two or a handful of conversions, uh, then you don't need to worry too much about the conversion action sets. So all you do is you go into your conversion actions, you start setting these up. I'm gonna go in and create the plus button. Now you've got these four options. We go on to, first of all, very quickly, I'll go through the three options over here. One is the call extension. So when someone clicks on your uh, call extension, you've got to set this up. Someone clicks on an ad, they go through to the website and then um, they call your number. This will track that and clicks on your number on your mobile website. Now, usually nowadays it's the same website. So the third option you hardly ever or ever use. But app, we are not going to cover uh, too much. It is completely um, a very different kind of campaign, obviously. And with website category, so you've got a purchase if you've got an e-commerce website. Add to basket even. So this is something where you can set up a, a conversion tracking, but 
not include in in your conversions so what this will do is it will track how many people let's say you want to track i want to track our number of the percentage of people coming to my website who click on add to cart so if you get out of 100 let's say 30 of them add to cart then you know that you got 30 percent people uh, adding to cart but then not many are going through to the checkout so this is where you need to then optimize your landing page so this is where you can get some really good data and you can also optimize your conversion for for the add to basket because the more add to baskets you have the more likelihood of a conversion happening at the back end or you can have a begin checkout subscribe to your newsletter fill in a, a contact form submit a lead form uh, book an appointment these three are pretty much the same i'm not sure why they're made up as separate categories um, or sign up request a code it just makes a different name over here that's about it you can uh, quite easily rename it as free consultation or whatever you can also have uh, other conversions so let's say page view of an important page on your site let's say you've got the client case studies or success studies or customer testimonials and review page that's quite important somebody is trying to check you out before they commit to you so this is where you can uh, either set up as a conversion and either include or not include in your conversion columns the other important thing here is the value you must give every category of conversions a value so let's say if someone submit a lead form what is that value to your business so you can quite easily work it out that okay if i get 10 forms and out of that 10 forms let's say you get one customer a paid customer that's a 10 percent conversion rate and let's say for argument's sake or each of that customer is worth thousand pounds or dollars to you if you divide that one thousand by ten leads your value per conversion or the value per form submit or a lead is 100 so then all you would do is you can uh, set up 100 over here the count keep for lead generation always have it as one as it says over here recommended for lead signups and other conversions whereas for purchases you must have it as every because i can come to your website buy once buy twice buy thrice and so on multiple times i can make a purchase and you want that conversion to to be tracked because that's how you will track your return on ad spend which is the roas then you set up your conversion uh, click through window and the last important thing over here is this one attribution model the default is last click uh, which i would not recommend you do that because the last click gets all the credit and not the other ads if you've got a longer sales cycle or a longer a complicated path to a conversion where your customers are clicking various ads before they convert um, then you don't want uh, the first or the last click because that's the first or the last um, ad will get that attribution um, i personally we use time dk or you can use a position base where the first and the last get the most 40 percent first 40 at the end and 20 percent in the middle data driven are uh, only for bigger accounts with large volume you need a lot of and i believe it's about 500,000 impressions or um, uh, 500,000 dollars a month spend when you start to get data driven attribution whitelist so this is how you set up all your conversion tracking i would highly recommend absolutely the first thing you do when you start uh, any campaign is come in here set up all your conversions it doesn't take long you can quite easily set up through your google tag manager or directly put the tag onto your on your website another thing which i would also recommend if when you are tracking a form submit is take them to a thank you page 
because this is where you can have additional call to actions so you can put in a, a customer testimonial video or a link to your calendar so they can book in that appointment straight away without having to wait for you to call them back so you can do lots of other uh, very uh, creative uh, things on the thank, thank you page so that that customer gets one step nearer to signing up with your uh, with your company mm -hmm.